There is one uh, other way to have invalid input. Now, I was typing in doubles here, typing in numbers. Let's type in nine. All right, this is a different type of error. This is what we call an exception. We are gonna cover these later, uh, but not right now. And uh, just for right now, this is, uh, you can tell right here, it comes from the scanner. It's an issue with scanner. And all we're gonna do is just read the first line right here. Uh, now there is a way to prevent this from showing up. You can check before we actually try to grab the next double to another if statement and we're going to use the scanner object which is called in so i'm going to type in dot this gives you all the methods that the scanner has and there's a has next and we're trying to grab a double why can't it? there it is has next double so, and I'll put the not in front. All right, if it does not have next double, so I'll just put the message uh, must enter a double number. Uh, now I just realized, yeah, we're okay. If, all right, so let's run this. Oh no, what happened? Well, enter a number, I put in nine, clearly it's not a double, so it did print this right here, but what happened after the print? Well, it just went right back and tried to convert the double. So what we need to do is start the else statement and wrap all this inside of an else statement. Do an Alt-Shift-F to tab this over. So now all of this only runs um, if we do have a next double. Enter a number, nine. It must be a number. Enter a number, nine. There you go. There's a log. Uh, I don't necessarily like the way this is written. We can reverse the order here. If has next double, now I'm going to take this, Alt Shift down, and I'm going to take all this, Alt Shift up. So what I did is, if we have a next double, we're going to process it, print out all this fun stuff, else we didn't have a double, so that's where we're going to print this right here. Uh, there are other, you can do system dot, and now there is an error stream right here. And you still get the whole uh, print LN, all this stuff. You can, if you want to, use the other print streams. So this ERR is print uh, is an error stream. Uh, and it's kind of neat because it makes it red. Uh, there are other ways to make the text red, but if you want, feel free to use system error. Uh, Unfortunately, it's out. I don't think, well, let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, I learned something new. That's neat. <laughs> so you can do SER tab. Uh, S-E-R-R tab. Okay. So feel free on an error, you can absolutely use system error.